Hi. So this week in gaming, I got a chance to learn a few new games. Uh, the biggest one I'm going to talk about is Viticulture. Viticulture. Um, basically, it's a wine making game. So, you know, right up my alley. Um, then I ordered a game and haven't played it yet, but it's Infection, Humanity's Last Gasp. It's a little one-player game from Victory Point Games, and Victory Point Games are really neat. And if you don't know what they are, you should definitely go Google them. It's a mixture of uh, successful designers working with students and hand-making games. And like, I got it, and not only was it laser-cut wooden pieces that were like fresh off the off the thing, the I don't know, leave. Um, but they included a little napkin in the box because they knew that you'd get soot on your hands when you're breaking out the pieces. Uh, and then what else did I play? We played a lot of Libertalia. Uh, that's a pirate-themed card game and bad pirate jokes and a little bit of role selection later, and that's a lot of fun. And I got to play Evil Baby Orphanage. Yeah. I wonder sometimes why things get kickstarted. Why do people put their money in these things? So let's let's hit on Evil Baby Orphanage real quick. You have a number of babies. If unsupervised, their abilities will go off. You supervise them with cards from your hand. Wow, was that game bad? It was especially bad. I'm sorry, whoever designed that, you you did not, no. The, the art was cute, no. <sighs> now that we're done with that, um, Infection is my next project to learn. Uh, it's a one player game, so it might even be a good thing for this afternoon, I just have to run to the store. But it, it's, the theme sounds a little on to Pandemic, because there's an infection you're trying to stave off, but you basically get these little molecule tokens. I don't know if I have anything handy, but uh, you have little molecule tokens, and you use a number of lab techs and equipment that you buy to stave off the bad things, the bad things that are happening, these little triggers every turn. So you have the title at the front, the front and I wasn't expecting these. They're actually pretty funny. So this one says, wait a minute, somebody added Ohio's list twice. And so this one allows you, you know, extra molecules. And it's making the Black Death look like the common cold. Draw one molecule from the molecule pool and add it. And so it it's going to have a number of deaths and what happens in the lab. Um, sometimes you oversleep. So there's a lot going on in the game. Looks like a lot of fun to me. Uh, and then, end of my talking about that. But the biggest one this week was viticulture. Viticulture! Um, I only kind of caught wind of the Stonemeyer Games guys from, well, I follow, I follow Jamie on Twitter, and he's one of the designers. And I back to their game. It was called Euphoria, and it's a little worker placement, dystopian, cool, absolutely stunningly gorgeous game. They they basically described the game to the artist, and she just got to make art for it, which is really nice. And they told her instead of an eagle eye view to do something from the side, so you just see these like uh, buildings. Like <laughs> nouns in me today. I don't know. Um, that being said, Viticulture is worker placement from two to six players. The two players, okay, but three to six is perfect. I would say it really wants to be three to four. Um, it takes place over the different seasons, so you can either use your little workers in the summer or you can save them up for winter. Uh, making wine actually has four different steps, so you very much have to work toward this overarching strategy. Uh, it's a max of 25 victory points in the game, and 20 ends the game, so every victory point was important. And probably the best 
mechanic of the whole game were uh, a number of cards called tourists and they would visit your vineyard either in the summer or the winter and you can tell that they had a lot of fun designing them they're all sponsored by somebody from their Kickstarter and the cards really take the cake they they make uh, move more efficient, they give you money, they give you victory points, they allow you to do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do, they snatch up old tourists from back from the discard, and, and just all kinds of fun things. Some of them are certified, and some of them are uncertified, and um, it's it was a very fun, light game, really easy to teach. Uh, I wasn't in love with the custom meatballs. I like wooden cubes. I like things to be what they are. That being said, everyone I showed the game to was like, oh my god, look at these meeples. Uh, I liked little glass beads. Little glass beads, when you when you harvest your fields, they come in their grapes, and when they're crushed, they go and make your wine. But they also highlight the symbol below them. And they kind of, they, they, like when I was playing two-player, when we didn't have all the spots available, I used the little glass beads to cover up the spots I couldn't place into, and that helps me visually see what I can or cannot have. So I, I like to know that. Uh, the games were pretty tight. All the victory points were pretty pretty close. Our first game was actually a tie and came down to whoever had the most money. And I totally won that. But uh, nothing else to really to be said. I'm working on trying to fix the mana in my black white tokens deck. I'm uh, looking forward to Giving Ace Detective a try, it's not in my wheelhouse, it's very storytelling intensive, so I will do my best, as I always do, but I'm hoping that there is some new fun stuff coming around the corner. I, I'm very, very anxious to see some of the releases I know are in, in the pipeline, in uh, Bruges and uh, Bora Bora being kind of the top of my list at the moment. I'm giving up on Rialto until it shows its face. And someday, Race for the Galaxy Alien Artifacts will be out, and that will be a good day. But another one I'm just not holding my breath on, because it's, it's taken its time. Uh, so thanks for watching, and we'll try and get back to you sooner than later. Bye.